we'll get started in a seated position, like I said, with your back up against a wall, your bed frame, seated in a chair, or you can take a blanket and place it right underneath your bottom so it helps you lift your hips up slightly. Or if you have a block, you can sit up on the block. So any position that you feel comfortable, secure, and that you can stay here for a few moments. When you've arrived, let's all close our eyes. Relaxing your shoulders away from your ears. And we'll just take a few moments at the beginning of our practice to get centered to where we are. So the first few minutes of our yoga practice is really geared towards listening and really concentrating on the present moment. So the best way to do that is to really tap into all of your senses. So first, just notice your surrounding environment. So listen to any sounds. If you're near a window, maybe you can hear some birds chirping. Maybe you hear some voices in the background. Whatever it is, just become aware of your surrounding environment. Maybe if you're playing some soft music, just to listen gently to that music. And then start to become in tune to where you are in space. So with your eyes closed, can you feel where your body is right now? Feel the contact of your bottom in the chair or on the mat. Feel where your hands are placed on your lap. And then we'll all place our hands on our knees, palms facing up towards the sky. Notice if that broadens your chest. And then notice your sense of smell. Maybe if there's any smells throughout the room, good or bad. And then we'll start to pay attention to our breath. So without trying to change anything, how are you breathing right now? What can your breath tell you about your own state? Are you carrying anything along with you to your mat? So we begin with a breathing technique to relax the mind, to relax the body. So it's a counting breath. So we'll inhale through the nose for a count of three. Exhale through the mouth for a count of five. And just continue this breath. Inhale for three. And exhale for five. Inhaling for three. Exhale for five. Notice if any thoughts come in, that's okay. That's our mind's job. Just let them pass by. Just continue to reconnect with this breathing. Inhaling for three. And exhale for five. See if you can soften the muscles in your face. If you 
can sit a little bit taller. And then we'll blink open our eyes, place our palms together in heart center. Feel the pressure of each palm into another. And we'll just set an intention for this series, for this practice, for tonight, for this week, whatever it may be. Just think of something that you'd like to achieve over this next five days. Is it more peace? more connection with yourself, more self-love, confidence, to be happier in the spot you're in, whatever it might be, just let's seal that in. And then placing the hands back down into your lap. So we'll begin with some movement. So really our biggest focus tonight is matching our breath with the movement. So every time we inhale, we're gonna open up the body and every time we exhale, we're gonna contract and close the body. So I'll frequently give you cues throughout tonight to really focus on that. So we'll begin by inhaling, reaching our arms up to the sky, stretching up really nice and tall, and then exhaling, bring hands down through heart center. Inhale to lift, exhale to draw down, and we'll just continue this breath. So many of you are new to yoga, many of you have practiced yoga for many years, so whatever your skill level, whatever the spot you're in right now, we can always benefit from going back to the basics. Inhale to lift, stretching up, grab what you need, and exhale and bringing it down to heart center. We'll take five more like that. Really focusing on the breath, moving with ease, closing your eyes. You can keep your eyes closed the whole practice. I promise I'll give enough cues. We'll take one more, inhale, lifting up, stretching up, staying here, and then exhale, hands come down through heart center. This time we'll lift the arms up, stretch the arms up. Now flip the hands like you're pushing away the walls to either side of you. Good, inhale to lift up, palms raise up to the sky. Exhale, you're pushing the walls away, pushing the air away. Inhale to lift. Exhale, push away. Always inhaling through the nose to cleanse and warm the air. If you want to exhale through the mouth or the nose, that's up to you. Take two more. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, push. Last one. Lift, reach, rise. Exhale, push away. And then we'll bring our hands to our shoulders. Bring the elbows forward, up and around. So big circles, inhaling as you come up. Exhaling to draw up and around. So really good for our posture. Really good for those of you who are in my cancer wellness program to really squeeze those spinal lymph nodes in the back. Also just feels really good. Don't worry about the cracks, crinkles, I have them too. Okay, take two more like this. This is a really good one to do in the morning. If you're sitting at a desk all day, just stretching open and then relaxing down. We'll place our left ear to the left shoulder, stretching the right side of the neck. And then we'll take our left hand to the temple as added pressure, added stretch. And then if you want, you can release the right arm by your side so you feel the stretch all the way from the fingertips all the way up through the neck.
and then plant the right fingertips down into the ground. Reach up tall with that left hand as tall as you can. And then draw the shoulder back into the socket. So relax the shoulder down and then we're gonna hinge over towards our right. And then inhale to shine your heart, look up towards the sky, really stretch that left arm, fingertips from all the way from the hip, reaching through side body stretch. If you can imagine you're opening up like your whole body is yawning, opening up through the side body. And then inhale, reach both arms up, stretch up, look up. And then just rain the fingertips down. So wiggle the fingertips all the way down. Good. And then we'll bring right ear, right shoulder. Right hand can come to the temple. Left hand can hover. Stretch all the way down through the neck. Dad, I hope you're doing this. If you're watching it, I'll be asking. And then plant the left fingertips down, reach the right arm really nice and tall, look up. And then remember to draw that shoulder blade down and then hinging over towards our left. Stretching all the way from the hip to the fingertips, really feel that side body opening. And really look underneath that armpit so you can really open up your chest, wide and broaden through the chest. Inhale here, exhale, open a little bit more. And then your next inhale, both arms reach up, rise up, look up, and then roll the hands all the way down, rolling the wrists all the way down. Good. We'll plant our hands on our knees, palm down, for seated cat and cow. Draw your chin and your chest forward. And then exhale round, tucking the chin, looking down at the belly. Inhale, pull yourself forward, broaden the chest, Shoulder blades come back, exhaling, rounding. Inhale for opening. Exhale for contracting. Take three more of these at your own pace. Opening, lifting, and then exhale to come in. Inhale forward. And exhale in. I'm the worst counter, so I don't know how many that was, but you guys got it. We'll take one more. Exhale. And then come back up to center. Roll the shoulder blades back. And we're gonna take some abdominal rolls. So coming over towards the right knee, center, left knee, and back and around. So this is a really good one to start. We're making our way through the body. So we'll begin with just some seated practice, really just loosening up through our neck, through our upper body. And then we'll flow through some sun salutations. And then we'll take a nice rest at the end. And then reverse the circle going the other way. So imagine you're really just stirring the energy in your core, in your center. Just releasing any stuck Digestion stuck, negativity in this area. Good, and then coming back to center, just closing the eyes, sitting up tall for a moment. And then inhale, reaching the arms up. Exhale, we're gonna hinge towards the right. Inhale to lift up. Exhale towards the left. We'll just continue this close your eyes go at your own pace if you want you can come on down bring your head down lifting the head up could make it your own just flow in whatever way feels good So the best part about doing this online, doing it at home, you really truly have the freedom to move, to play around with any position you want. You could even lie on your mat the whole class and that would be totally fine. And then reach up tall, rise up, hands come down to heart center. 
And just take a moment, take a breath here. Just notice how you feel. See if you can release any grip in the jaw and the forehead and the cheekbones. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, release. And then we're gonna transition to all four, so hands and knees. So I brought my blanket with me. If you have a blanket and if your knees are a little bit uncomfortable, you can place the blanket underneath the knees so that it gives you a little bit more cushion. It's totally optional. And then we're gonna come down into all fours. So if your wrists are bothering you, if they're painful, then you can come up onto fists. Or if you have blocks, you can come up onto forearms on the blocks or forearms on the ground. All of those options are fine. So here we're gonna keep the toes either tucked or untucked. Spread the fingers nice and wide. And we're gonna begin cat and cow. So on your next inhale, drop the belly down like it weighs a thousand pounds. Lift the chin and the chest up. And then exhale, you're gonna start with the chin. You're gonna tuck the chin round the upper spine round the belly, puff up the back of the heart. And then on your next inhale, dropping the belly, lifting the chest, lifting the chin up on the inhale. Exhale to round. So really feeling good throughout the spine, taking five of these at your own pace, at your own comfort, really trying to puff up the back of the heart. So when you come forward, you, this is a cow, so if you imagine the udders of a cow pulling down, your bottom is sticking out. And then when you're rising up, this is the scaredy cat. So if you picture that black scary cat of its back puffing up, that's the cat. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Two more like this. You can play around with the wrist position slightly. And then coming back to neutral, we're gonna stay in this neutral position and just let the shoulder blades kind of allow the upper body to hang in and then puff yourself back out. So feel just the, the movement of the upper body. And then walk the hands forward about a couple inches, and we're gonna shift our way over towards the left wrist, center, right wrist, right heel, left heel, back and around. So big circles with the body. So this is really an opportunity for you to dive deeper taking a scan of how your body feels. Close the eyes, rock side to side on the hips, moving around in whatever position feels good. One of the yoga teachers that I listen to says this is like you're scooping out the peanut butter from the jar. So if you imagine your body really scooping out every little last bit of peanut butter or almond butter or whatever kind of butter you like, just swiveling all the way around, getting in each nook and cranny of your body, each joint, and then reverse the circle, going the opposite way. So really playing around with the pressure that you put on each hip, each heel, each wrist. And then come back up to center. We're gonna open up our knees as wide as the mat coming into our child's pose. Bring the big toes together and then allow the hips to sink down towards the heels. If you have a pillow, I'm gonna grab my pillow. What you wanna do to make you a little bit more comfortable is place the pillow between the heels and your bottom. So open up the knees wide 
the toes are untucked and that pillow adds a little bit of comfort onto your bottom. And then you walk your hands forward. If you have a block, place your forehead on the block. Or if you have another pillow, you can put it on that too. And then just relax your body down, connecting the forehead to something, whether it's the pillow, whether it's the blanket, the mat, just press into your third eye here. And then notice as you inhale, if your belly expands on your thighs. And then as you exhale, it all contracts in. Feel the stretch of your arms. Feel the stretch of your hips. What in this moment can you let go of? Can you allow your body to settle in Allow the weight of the day, the weight of your mind, just relax down. And then our next inhale, lift the head and the chest up and we're gonna walk our hands over towards the right for a side body stretch on the left. So our hands are just tiptoeing all the way to the left and then you let your body fall back down. So you feel a nice stretch all the way on the left side of the body. And again, you just take some nice deep breaths here. So it's the end of the day, you're winding down. You're getting a little bit of movement in to release any of the tension of your body from the, from the weekend, from the past week. And then lifting the head and the chest back up, coming to center. And then we'll walk our way over towards the left. So a side body stretch on the right. And then nice and slow, coming back to center. We'll come off of our hands, off of the wrist to come to a kneeling position. You can remove that pillow out of the way. And then we're gonna open up our knees wide, hands to our hips. Bring the elbows back. Just open up the chest here. Lift the heart, the head, the chest. Breathing here, letting all the blood flow down, and then releasing our arms by our sides. And we're just gonna slide down our right leg, coming back up, and then sliding down the left leg. So getting rid of those love handles. Getting a little bit more space through the intercostals, through the ribs, for us to breathe better, for us to live better. And then come on back up, roll the shoulders. Inhale, reach the arms up. Grab the right wrist with the left hand, stretch up and then you're just gonna hinge over. So it's a little bit of a core, a little bit of a balance test here. Just breathing here and then back up to center. Grab for opposite wrist, stretch up, and then hinge over. And then reach up tall, look up, and then each finger to your thumb, opposition, come all the way down. If you need a good hand therapist, Nora Kinslow is your girl. She's on, she's part of this group. And then we'll come back into all fours here just for a moment. And we're gonna open up one more time through the side body. So take your left hand right underneath the face, reach your right arm nice and tall up towards the sky. Look up past that thumb, 
inhale here. And then exhale, you're gonna hinge it through, but we're not gonna stay here. We're just gonna slide it through. And then inhale, peel it up, stretch it up again. Exhale, you're gonna hinge it through, looking through. Inhale to lift. Exhale, hinge it through. This time you're gonna allow the shoulder, the right side of the head to fall down. That left arm can come in front of you or it can wrap around your back for a nice shoulder stretch. Thread the needle here on the right side. And then use that left hand palm into the ground to push you up, peel you open, right arm comes up to the sky last time, and then hand comes down as we begin on the left side. So left arm reaches up, stretches up, and then it slides on through and it hovers off the ground. Inhale, open up, twisting the body, rinsing the body, exhale, coming through. Inhale to lift up, reach up. Exhale, we're gonna stay here this time. Shoulder comes down, temple comes down, that right arm comes out in front or can wrap around, whatever feels better. Feeling the stretch of that left shoulder. And then push the right hand into the ground, peel yourself up, open up left side body, stretches up, and then hand comes down. And then we'll take one cat and cow just to realign the spine. Inhale, coming forward. Exhale, contract. And then we're gonna transition to a standing position. So if you have your blocks, come onto the tallest setting and then bring one foot. You might need to kind of step it up there and then bring the other foot into our first standing forward fold. So at the top of the mat, open up the feet wider than hip distance, bend the knees so that you can allow your belly to really just rest on the thighs and let your body hang over your legs. Shake your head yes, shake it no. And then begin to wiggle out the legs, move one leg and then the other. Say hello to your hamstrings. Grabbing for opposite elbows. This is our rag doll pose. So really drawing the elbows down, the head becomes heavy, stretching through the back, the spine. Anytime you can get your head lower than your heart, it's good for anxiety, good for depression, good to reset your body, reset your mind. And then release the arms. Inhale, bring your hands to your shins into a flat back. And this is where my head always goes into my plants. And then exhale, fold. We'll take that three more times. So inhale, create a flat back. So come right on your shins, really look down, create a nice flat, long spine, and then exhale, fold. Two more times, inhale, exhale. Last time, inhale and exhale. And then bend the knees a lot. Bring your arms out by your sides. Reverse swan dive. We're gonna rise all the way up to the sky. Reach up really nice and tall. And then hands come down to heart center. Close the eyes and pause for a moment. Feet are hip distance apart. And then place your arms by your sides, palms facing one another. So this is our mountain pose. So if you can imagine the top of your head is the very tip of the mountain, the arms are the sides and the feet are rooted, grounded into the ground. Pull the shoulder blades down and back and stand really strong and tall here. And then we'll lift the toes up if you can and then place them back down. And then we'll come onto the toes. 
and then come back down. So just playing around the position of the feet. I know a few of you can't do this right now, but just see, for those of you who can, see the position of the toes, of the feet, then place the whole foot down. Notice each part of the foot grounded down. Taking a breath here. And then we're gonna take those slides down the legs again. So sliding down the right leg. See if those fingertips can come all the way towards the knee. Inhale back up. Exhale, sliding down. Inhale up. Exhale, sliding down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale down. And then inhale back up. We'll lift the arms up. Grab for that right wrist, reach up tall, and hinge over. So really try to keep your body in one straight line. So not, try not to come too far forward or too far back. If I could place two planes right here, you really wanna come just on the side there. And then inhale, reach up, opposite wrist, stretch up, and then hinge over. And then inhale, lift up, stretch up. Hands come down through heart center. We're gonna take a few sun salutations, so nice and slowly. We're gonna reach our arms forward, stretch the arms up and back, and then bend the knees a lot, bring hands down through heart center as you hinge at the hips coming all the way down. Inhale, hands to shins into a flat back. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, we're gonna reach and rise all the way up. So they're half sun salutations, reaching up, stretching back, hands come down through heart center. So getting the body a little bit warmer. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, bend at the knees, bend at the hip, bend at the upper body coming down. Inhale, creating a flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up, rise up, stretch up. Hands come down to heart center. One more time, inhale, lift up. Exhale, bend the knees, hinge at the hips, come all the way down. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale to fold. And then bend the knees, reach up, rise up, come all the way up. And hands come down to heart center. So sometimes in salutations you'll see people where they, people, meaning I was one of them, you'll inhale here, and then as you come down, you'll see them straight, 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 like this. I find that's very uncomfortable and very painful for your spine, for your lower back, especially your sciatic nerve. So what we'll do in this practice is as you're coming down, we'll bring the hands down to heart center, bend at the knees, bend at the hips, and then roll your body down. It's a lot less pressure on the hips, than if you were to create a flat back coming all the way down. So whatever you wanna do in your own practice, it's okay, but I found that when I was doing that over and over again, I was causing myself pain. So if you work on bending everything, bending at your hips, bending at your knees, and just kind of melting your body down, instead of hinging, I think you'll have better results. But whatever you wanna do is okay. So let's reach our arms up. We're gonna make our way down. So hands come down through heart center, bend at the knees, bend at the hips. You're lowering yourself all the way down. Hands to the mat, and we're gonna bring one knee down, and then the next. And then we're gonna swivel our feet over to the side to come onto our bottoms. So that is the beginning of our sun salutations. And now we'll work on melting our body all the way down. So let's bring our hands behind our back, fingertips facing forward, and we're just gonna windshield wiper the legs side to side. Nice and slow, just moving with ease. Breathing. Keeping your eyes closed. Just feeling the massage on the glutes. And then we'll come down onto the forearms. Same thing, we're gonna move side to side. And 
and then nice and slow, making your way all the way down onto your mat. You can keep your blanket and your blocks handy. Keeping the knees bent, we're still gonna windshield wiper side to side, palms up to the sky. And then we'll relax here with the knees knocked into center, open up the legs, palms facing to the sky. Closing the eyes, relaxing the shoulders. Taking a moment just to breathe here. And then we'll heel toe the feet in together. And we'll draw our right knee into our chest. Relax the spine down and we'll roll that right ankle around. So moving the right ankle. And then find some movements with that right knee. So big circles with the right knee and hip. Just noticing any areas of tightness, of discomfort. See if you can just loosen up through that hip. And then we'll start to straighten our right leg up towards the sky, interlacing the hands on the hamstring behind the leg and peeling those toes back or just keeping the foot straight. Breathing here, easing the right leg into the body. Or you can come up towards the calf if you want a little bit more stretch to draw the body towards, drawing the leg towards the body. And then nice and slow, drawing the knee back into the chest. And then dropping that right foot down, bring the left knee into the chest, rolling the left ankle around. And then moving that left leg around, massaging the left hip. And then starting to straighten that left leg up to the sky, interlacing the hands on the hamstring, drawing the leg in. Coming up towards the calf if you want a little bit more stretch. Letting your shoulders melt away. And then release the left leg, drop both knees into the chest, hands to the shins, peel open the legs so that you can bring the shins in towards the armpits. And just gentle rock side to side. Let your mind settle here. And then planting the feet down onto the mat. Hands come down to the mat. Palms facing down, pushing into the feet. Bring the feet in closer towards your bottom. And then we're gonna inhale up into our bridge. So lifting your hips up, like I was pulling from your belly button all the way up to the sky. Draw the shoulder blades underneath you, looking straight up, trying not to move the neck. Seeing if you can lift up a little bit more. And then exhale, slowly releasing down. We'll bring the soles of our feet together, allowing the knees to fall open. And if this is uncomfortable, you can take the fists to right below the glutes, right near the hips to kind of prop the hips open. Or you can take the hands onto the inner thighs if you want a little bit more pressure. Just 
noticing the inner thigh opening, stretching. Starting to come back to that slow, quiet breath. And then we'll place our hands onto our belly. Bring the feet back up. And then we're just gonna bring the knees up, holding onto the knees and just rock side to side slowly. And we'll take one spinal twist. So we'll allow the legs to fall over towards the right. Right hand can come to the outside of that left leg. And the left arm can open up into a cactus arm to our left and our gaze falls over the left. Feeling the center of the body, rinse out, release out. Soften the face. You can extend that top leg if you want a little bit more stretch through the leg. And then coming back to center, rock and roll side to side. And then we'll allow the knees to fall to the left. Right arm comes out to our side, cactus arm. That right leg can extend. You just feel the stretch through the spine. Taking a few deep breaths here. And then nice and slow, coming back to center, grabbing your blanket or your pillow and placing it right underneath your knees for a comfortable Shavasana, our final relaxation pose. So placing whatever you want right underneath the knees. And we'll start first with our hands on our belly. Closing the eyes. The head, the neck is long. The body starts to become settled starts to be calm, relaxed, peaceful. We'll begin our breathing one more time, inhaling for a count of three. Exhale for a count of five. Inhale for three. And exhale for five. Notice if you can soften through the feet, through the knees, the hips, the shoulders, the neck, the whole body relaxed onto the ground. Then place palms up towards the sky, completely surrendering into your Shavasana. You earned it, you deserve it. Your journey has just begun or whatever your intention that you created at the beginning of this practice. You're on your way to achieving more peace, more love, more self-healing for yourself, for you to be able to grow and strengthen your own practice. And then we'll wiggle our fingers, wiggle our toes, coming back into this space. Feel free to stay longer if you want. Then we'll reach our arms up overhead, stretch the arms nice and long, point the toes, and then draw the knees into the chest, and then we'll fall to one side, whatever side is more comfortable. And then keeping the eyes closed, we'll peel ourselves up into a seated posture where we began. Sitting up tall and strong, drawing the shoulder blades back, 
Okay, we did it. We'll inhale, reach the arms up for the last time. Stretching up, palms come together and we'll bring our thumbs to our third eye chakra, connecting our mind to our body. And then thumbs down to the heart chakra, connecting to our heart. And then we can bow to one another to share our gratitude for one another and for this new community that we all started. Namaste.